I got in contact with, uh, you know, some key people in Sierra Leone, like the Minister of Health, the Chief Medical Officer, um, some key doctors, and, and obviously just friends and other relatives. Um, found out that they needed, um, you know, medical supplies to protect the healthcare workers, and so I relayed that information to. Um, the to Global Links and they are basically helping to provide health workers with these kits. There are people in Sierra Leone, you know, at every level that are trying to make a, a positive difference. Sierra Leone does not have the infrastructure that the United States has. Healthcare largely is based on if you have money, the, the more money you have, the better the health care you can receive. Um, again, a lot of, you know, you have a lot of private hospitals, you have the government hospitals are pretty much jam-packed with patients and very limited resources and supplies. Really, if, if you're rich or you have some money, then you're more likely to receive better health care. I have very close um, cousins, um, aunts, nieces, nephews that I'm very close to, they're there. Um, my identity is Sierra Leone. I grew up there. I have friends that are there. And, um, you know, just getting updates. My very close friend lost her mom. Um, she's a doctor. Um, lost her mom to Ebola a few days ago. And, you know, her house has basically been quarantined because, you know, she's been exposed. Her dad's been exposed. And so, it's, it's a difficult thing. It's basically taken over the whole country and I would like to see a situation where people have a fair chance to life and you know, fair chance of living without so many issues. Um, I, I, I want people to know that, you know, obviously Ebola is, is something that is very difficult and um, I'm not wishing that it's a world problem, um, but it is potentially a world problem and, you know, I want to encourage people that are in the position to make a difference or to help in any way to do so.